Hey guys, welcome to this video, and this is, well, I guess, part 6, yep, okay, one second, part 5, 4, 7, this is part 7 of this video series, and in this video, we are going to set up our home page product section, right, only the front end, in the next video, we will actually set up our products to actually show up, without wasting the time anymore, let's get started, if you have not accessed this playlist, please access it right now. If you have not liked my video, like it right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell for all of my videos. Comment down below how you like this video and how, what type of videos you want in the future. And without wasting time, let's get into it. We'll go to tailblocks.cc and we'll go move up to the... e-commerce section and we will click on this one. On the first one okay so here you can see we have this stuff we have these category the thing like that we have the price we have the thumbnails and it all looks pretty okay okay let's just click copy go to jsx cs and go to html and to jsx converter okay just copy all of the jsx go back here close it close this one also close it also we'll go to index of jsx javascript here let's keep a javascript because we will be using few javascript uh things in here so it's not going to be much of a considered as a jsx only component so what's the issue on making it jsx so basically it will just mostly read the uh, if you're doing something in the react itself it will you know really much ignore javascript array function and stuff like that so that's why i just keep it js for now so what we are going to do here, we're just going to say, okay, one minute. Okay, so we're going to go in the index.js file. Here we will paste the code. Okay, we have a lot of dummy things right there. Let's do yarn dev to actually see how the things are going. Refresh. Okay, good. So this is how our website is looking for now, okay? And this all is mobile mobile responsive. If you may ask that thing also, you can see it all fits good. Okay, except uh, the this thing. What we can do to fix that one? We will go back to the nav bar. Here we will add another thing called as a home. It will take us to the home page, right? So if now I do this, okay, now it looks good, right? It, it kind of fits in the middle. So yeah, it's not bad. Okay, good. So we don't want a lot of them, a lot of these cards like that, because they will be still pretty fine when we do this like that. What we are going to do, we we'll just get rid of all of them. Let's keep one or two. Okay. okay so there we go now we should see only two of them shooting star could agree there we go this is the title this is the price and we need to get a few more things. Okay, guys. So now here we have the title of the thing. Then we have the price of the thing. And we want to show what type of sizes are available. And we want to show what type of colors are available for that particular product. And how we can do that? Well, that's the basic thing. We also want to show how much quantity is available for that product, right? Okay, better. So what we can do is just basically, yeah, the catalyzer. Okay, let's just keep only one div for now. Which means only one item card. That is this one, okay? So we have the category. Category can be literally anything. It can be like the t-shirt, stuff like that, right? 
we have the title then we have the price and we will say okay let's have a div inside this div what we want we want to have multiple span tags right so we will say this span tag should have few properties so first of all this span tag should be um let's go to tail blocks we have this side we have the colors here so we can right click there we have the button right it's just like a button just copy the element other than just making button it will just you know show it yeah this thing is available right if we go back here we just say It's going to be a span tag. You refresh. Okay, this is something class name. Yeah, it's going to be class name. Okay, it just became. Maybe it has to be button. Yeah, it has to be button. And we can later say. Later on, we can just. Okay, we can say. Or so it's just going to be default. I think default is going to be normal. Okay, yeah. So now this represents what what colors are available for that product. Okay, so then we can have the sizes also, but we don't want to have the sizes like here, right? Well, because we just want to show what type of sizes are available, so. To do that thing we need to go back here and uh, we will just create another div and we will just say create a span tag okay span tag like that and we'll do a little bit of refresh here okay there must be span tag somewhere Button type attribute has to be set. Oh, type attribute for the button, right? Maybe we make it like a, as a div itself, other than just saying button. Mm -hmm. Okay, it should not be actually a div. Why not? Well, let's keep it div as it is, okay? All we have to do when you say the parent of this div should have a class name of flex. So that when we add multiple of them, they should be in a row. Flex a row is by default the property. In here, what we want to say, we want to say let the width be 18 pixel, let the height be 18, let the color be black. What pixel solid black okay I guess nothing is taking an effect right okay we need to define some height for this one once the height is 18 pixel Okay, why is not this one showing up? I'm not sure. Background is going to be black, but they're not just showing that thing, right? Well, we need to figure out that thing also. We're giving some height to the div. Inside the div, we have this span tag. How about if it is just a div? Okay, then it's showing up, right? Well, let it be the way it is. Hmm. 
margin is going to be none. Just a little bit of top margin here. Maybe like a five pixel. Okay, and uh, we need a little bit of border radius of like maybe 20 pixel. I think 10 is the end, right? Yeah. So 10 pixels is the end. We don't want really much it to be have that much radius, right? We don't want the background to be black. <coughs> we want something like that with a little bit more height. Maybe we just copy this thing, go back here. Okay, we got some. We got few issues. We got few issues. The issue is we need to convert all of them into a J6. Radius. Okay, good. Maybe we give it name of S, which means S size. What do you want for refresh? Okay, style is having style margin right. Okay, this one. Margin top. S. Well, wasn't what we expected it to be, right? Let's not give it some custom. Alright, like that. Let's say text align should be center. So, no custom height other than say. X align center shows up like that. Maybe we can decrease the height from being 19 pixels or something more like uh, maybe 15 pixels to do it. Okay, we can have a little bit margin on the below bottom also. So we can just say margin is 5 pixels, 0 pixel between 5 pixels on the top and bottom and a 0 pixel. Okay, what happened? Oh, if I call it span, it just goes like that, right? Okay, then we can just say, give it a little bit of padding, 0 pixel and 5 pixel, like that. <clears throat> 5 pixels should do it. Maybe 6 pixels, right? 6 pixel padding. Make it a span tag. Okay. We'll make it a span tag and we'll just say other than saying width. I'm gonna call it as a something like that. Good, good, good. Okay, about this one we have a little bit 
<coughs> we have a little bit margin on the left. ML1. We'll get rid of ML1. Okay, feels good to me. We also need the QTY section to be there. Okay, we can keep it uh, down. Hit me bad, right? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it, it doesn't look bad. And uh, maybe just put this one also here. Okay, it really doesn't change anything, but... We can show the quantity at the very end. Yeah, margin like seven seven margin is pretty fine okay good 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 seven margin looks pretty cool right so yeah we are pretty much set it up for this one right category we got the thing and now we need to add a little bit of border so we can just say where's our main thing, where's our main thing. I think this is the main do right? Yep. We'll say border sh sh uh, shadow. Tailwind that is shadow MD. Okay, I knew it before. Yeah, it gives this of a card a little bit of shadow kind of thing, you know. Just to make it a little bit more outstanding. We can also give it a little bit of radius maybe. What if I say rounded? Yeah, it got some like round radius, a little bit on the edge, right? Is Excel actually a thing? Shadow Excel. I think MD is pretty fine. Like Excel is a little bit too much. Yep. Now we can add a little bit of hover effect also. We'll just say cursor should be pointer. Like that. And when someone hovers over this thing, it should become. Okay. Hover. Uh, scale like one of the five should be pretty fine a uh, small uh, amount of scaling right you know if I do have 100 it doesn't change anything because 100 is as uh, a default thing so 105 is all of our only option if I hover over this thing it should go something like that and uh, maybe if I hover over this I will do Shadow algae. Yeah, so shadow is a little bit increasing when we are hovering over this thing, right? So that if it looks it will look clean when we have a lot more things. So we just we will be just able to click this, okay? We'll just click it here and it, it will take us to that particular product page, whatever product we're clicking on. 
so this the colors that are available these okay I should probably remove this cursor default all right so if I click here it should take me to the product page where I can add it into inside my cart and stuff like that well that was it for this video uh, in the next video we are going to you make an API in the backend that will actually give us these things but well, what we'll do in the next video in the next video we are actually going to set up our among our you know models you know MongoDB and we're gonna set up the validation for the joy section like that and in the after video of that we will actually set up our products API so I hope you are enjoying the series and I will see you in the next one have a good day Bye-bye.